Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Adani Elbit Advanced Systems India Limited is a joint venture between Adani Defense and Aerospace and Elbit Systems formed to indigenize the unmanned aerial platforms and fulfill the armed forces requirement in India as well as export globally. On 14 December 2018, the Adani Elbit Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Complex was inaugurated in Telangana. It is a 50,000 square foot state of art facility and the first UAV manufacturing facility in India and the first outside Israel to manufacture the Hermes 900 male UAVs. The factory started its operations with manufacturing of complete carbon composite aerostructures for Hermes 900 followed by Hermes 450 catering to the global markets and it will be further ramped up for the assembly and integration of complete UAV system. So far, more than 20 drones has been exported by this complex to Israel. The Adani Defense has fielded Hermes 900 under the indigenously designed, developed and manufactured that is IDDM category of the defense procurement procedure with assurance of 60% indigenization in the UAV. Under IDDM category, the equipment with 40 or 60% indigenous content are considered for acquisition. As per the latest report, the Hermes 900, which is being manufactured by Adani Defense, has 70% of indigenous content and the company has further planned to scale it up. To be precise, the Hermes 900 Star Liner of the Albert system is now being rebranded and manufactured in India as Drishti 10 Star Liner drones. In March 2023, the Adani Defense and Aerospace was contracted by Ministry of Defense to supply four medium altitude long endurance male drones to each for Indian Army and Indian Navy. On 10th January 2024, the Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar has unveiled the Drishti 10 Star Liner drones manufactured by Adani Defense in Hyderabad. The induction of UAV will most probably happen next month after the training of personnel handling the platforms gets over in January. The UAV will now be taken from Hyderabad to Porbandar for induction into the Naval Maritime Surveillance Operations shared by other platforms such as MQ-9 Sea Guardian. Speaking about the future requirements of UAV, the Navy Chief has stated that three services need 97 male drones. Of that, Navy has pitched for 20. On 9th February 2024, the Indian Navy has informed via social media platform X that Drishti 10 undertook its maiden flight, further augmenting maritime surveillance capability of Indian Navy. The Army Aviation will also get two of its male UV in next few months and will be deployed in Bhatinda. Drishti is made in India drone with 70% indigenous systems in record 10 months. Adani Defense has also exported around 20 of these drones to various international customers. Talking about the capabilities of Drishti 10 Starliner, these UAVs are going to be an advanced intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance platform. It features over-the-horizon, persistent, multi-mission, multi-sensor capabilities with high bandwidth to stream of multiple sensors in real-time and a class leading payload carrying capacity. Its electro-optical payloads include multi-spectral payloads and laser designator. The other payload includes SAR or GMTI radar and MPR maritime radar, electronic warfare payloads, electronic intelligence and communication intelligence payload. The UAV has maximum takeoff weight of 1600 kg, maximum payload of 450 kg, endurance of up to 36 hours and service ceiling of 30,000 feet. It is also the only all-weather UAV platform that can fly in both segregated and unsegregated airspace and has NATO's STNAG 4671 certification for the UAV system's airworthiness. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector